gosh, um, June, nearly over, can't believe it. Uh, I'm sitting in the garden today and uh, doing a quick roundup. I was supposed to do this last week and, um, and well, I went to London and um, I just didn't, I just didn't have the energy to create a video. Um, so, so I didn't. So I'm trying to sneak this video in uh, this morning. <laughs> So that it's all ready um, and it looks like I've been very productive and done it, but I'm just sneaking it in really quickly. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm in, in my garden and it's looking, I don't know whether you can see, it's looking so, so, so pretty. You can see that. I've got the, the I don't know whether you can see that as well, the cat, the cat in the, in the catio. Um, and it's a bit windy, so I'm probably going to end up having to re-record this anyway because it's all going to have wind noise in it and all of that kind of stuff. Probably should check it actually, shouldn't I, before I go too far. Um, anyway, June has been a, um, a busy month again. Well, actually, a little bit quieter than normal. I've, I've managed to fit in a lot of uh, commissions and everything in. And... Um, we have we've got uh, another scholarship that we're giving away for IDAS, which I'm really really happy about. So we're packing the boxes there. So we've got all of the stuff ready uh, from the lovely Emma at um, the Colour Pencil Shop. Um, and what else have we done? Uh, Lucy was away on holiday, so that was sort of quite quiet. Um, just the normal, just the normal stuff, really. A couple of things that that we've uh, sort of almost finalised. Um, I know you'll have seen uh, to join a wait list for an in-person event. Um, I'll be revealing that very soon. We're we're just doing one one in the UK to begin with, and then see how it see how it goes, see what people think about it. But I'm quite excited about that. Uh, I've booked my tickets for Nashville. I'm very excited about that. I'm going to Nashville in October. Uh, actually, but not not for art reasons, although I am going to meet up with lots of my members, hopefully. Um, and it's more a case of I'm going on like a business uh, trip thing. Yeah, so it's it's actually it has been a pretty a pretty quiet a pretty quiet month. I've just started a new tutorial. I uh, started it last night. Spent ages drawing the line art out. Um, I I have a real um, hatred of drawing line arts. <laughs> I hate drawing line arts. I hate drawing line arts. Um, I, I, um, I would not do all line arts if I didn't, if I didn't have to for the tutorials. I just, I just, I just don't like them. Anyway, um, I just get bored. Uh, so I drew, this is quite a big piece. It's sort of like a 12 by, almost 12 by 12 piece. Um, full background, all of that kind of stuff. And quite finickety, it's quite fiddly. So, um, drew that out last night. So, and started to draw, but then it got, just got too hot. Um, and, I, and I had all the dogs in there with me and it was just, oh, and I couldn't put the fan on because of the recording. So I've stopped and hopefully today it'll be a little bit cooler. Um, you can probably hear my washing machine now. <laughs> it's, it's all going the Snowden household. Uh, oh, and the, and the flies up. <laughs> God. Um, so um, London was fabulous. I went to, I went to spend a few days with Vicky in London, which was amazing. And Naughty Vicky ended up surprising me with some of my amazing members. I knew I was meeting some guys on, on the on the Friday, but um, I ended up meeting the lovely Keris and Deirdre on the Thursday as well, which was the most wonderful surprise. It was just fabulous. And I got to see Keris's beautiful artwork. She bought her artwork with her and I cried. It's the most incredible work. Honestly, it makes me so sad when people don't see how incredible they are. Um, she's a she's a wonderful artist, absolutely wonderful artist. It's been quite nice as well, actually, to uh, to have a little bit of time to reflect on stuff that I want to do. Um, so I've been doing an awful lot of that this this month. Um, a lot of writing. Uh, got myself a new 
teleprompter, which has been, I'm not using it now, can you guess? <laughs> the teleprompter has been an absolute lifesaver. It honestly has. Uh, I, I have to create quite a lot of face to camera videos with, with important, mess important messages, messages where I have to say specific things. I find it really difficult to remember uh, something like this, I can just gabble on and there's full of ums and ahs and all of that kind of stuff. But, um, oh, here come the dogs. Oh, so I've now got um, <laughs> silly dogs. It's a door, door. It's, I know, I know. <laughs> They're all very excited. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, I, I've been able to sort of reflect a little bit on um, some of the things that I want to do. Uh, and... I think it's quite good to have a little bit it's not been downtime at all we've still been crazy busy but i think it's quite good to have a little bit of time to be able to to just sort of um, breathe a little bit and and think about stuff that you want to do um yeah it's been a it's been a really nice month actually um i've just finished a big a big portrait a big double portrait um of two horses that was a little bit tricky um because there were sort of a few changes that that the, the client oh, honestly the client wanted to make oh <laughs> a few ch a few changes that the client wanted to make um and so i had to completely make up well two horses necks i had to completely make up these two necks the mane and uh sort of like the body and the shoulder and everything so um and actually it turned out really really nicely um but it's it's quite tricky you know you, you spend hours and hours and hours trawling stop it dora it's trawling through um photographs to find try and find something that is um you know anywhere similar to what you're drawing and in the end i was just like i, I could spend hours trawling through photos and i'm just not going to uh i'm just not going to carry on so um oh, hair everywhere now uh so i just sort of made it up and i think once you've once you've drawn hundreds of horses you kind of know what they look like and I'm, I've, I've had horses all my life so you do sort of understand the structure and everything so um but they've turned out quite nicely and they were a big piece as well uh so and I've done a few free pieces as well for people this month I'm, I, I do I do like to do uh free stuff occasionally because it's it's quite it's quite nice um you know uh, for a couple of friends so uh they've lost their dog and everything and it's just uh, you know i think i think it's important i think it's really important to know your worth and i think it's really important to value your work but i also think it's important you know to do things for free if you want to do them for free um i never discount my work I'll never, I'll never sort of say oh, 25% off, 50% off or anything like that, but I will give some stuff away for free and that I'm happy with that. Oh gosh, we've got a helicopter now. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's been a, a quiet month, some exciting things in the pipeline, uh, excited about Nashville in October and um, gardens looking great, cats in the catio, um, the dogs now. You can see there's Vinny, Vinny down there, and there's Nelly there, and the, the, oh, it's like a bike lane up there. <laughs> it's all, it's all go, all go on a Monday morning. <laughs>